Hi, I'm Kenyatta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into a life celebration. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces for December 2022. We are ending the we're nearing <laughs> the end of the year. I was going to say we are ending the end of the year. It don't make no sense, right? We are nearing the end of the year, Pisces. Uh, Pisces, I will be doing your reading from the Tarot Apocalypse. My contest is over, but I did come in eighth place. I made it to the top ten. So, yay for me. All right. Um, but let's move on. Okay. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can contact me um, through my website, KenatasIntuition.com. You can book a reading or any other spiritual service right through my website. All right. Pisces for December 2022. I'd like to say thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel. I surely do appreciate it. Pisces. December 2022. Let's give this some good shuffles here. Pisces, December 2022 from the Tarot Apocalypse for Pisces. December 2022 general reading for Pisces. One more shuffle for Pisces. December 2022. All right, Pisces. Let's get into it here. We have Seven of Swords upright. Four of Wands upright, Pisces. Princess of Pentacles, upright. Ace of Pentacles, upright, Pisces. And we have the Tower in reverse. All right, Pisces. So let's get into your reading here, okay? Somebody trying to steal your joy, Pisces, okay? Take from you what I'm even hearing, like what they think belongs to you, okay? I don't know what that necessarily means, okay? But I do feel like someone's trying to take something from you. Now, be very careful here, okay? Now, let me see. Okay. If you have a situation... You know, this person can try to steal from you. I just keep hearing steal your joy. Okay, take from you. Okay, even if it's taking your things. Okay, I think something that belongs to you, you know, it can still equate that to joy. Okay. First of all, this person is, whoever this is, this energy here, this, they're childish, immature, lazy. They'll never get away with it, okay? It's like there's someone there protecting the fort, okay? What you have, it could simply be you. This person is in for a rude awakening, <laughs> okay? <laughs> to say the least, okay? Whoever this is, they, they, they think they sneaky, okay? But again, just childish, immature. I'm going to take what they have, you know, all right? But they're going to they gonna get knocked over, okay? And they're going hit to the, hit the floor, hit the ground, whatever, real hard with whatever it is they're trying to manipulate even, I'm hearing, up out of you, okay? Trying to steal from you, okay? Trying to take take your throne. Okay, and sit on your throne. Okay, what's yours basically? Okay, your home, your abundance, your life, even. Okay, this is what they want to do. This, is, but they're not even, they're so childish and immature, they're not even worthy of it. Okay, your abundance here. Okay, your, um, you know, ability to continue to produce. Okay, and produce great things, great abundant things. Okay. Mm -hmm. wealth okay and it doesn't have to just be like when i say wealth financially okay it can be that can be part of it too all right okay yeah, but, but i do see money here okay it's just like every like i said your life everything that's yours your home okay but this person is not even really even you know worthy okay of what's yours to do so okay but again from what i'm seeing at this point they're just about to be in for a rude awakening they're gonna hit they're gonna hit i want to i keep wanting to say hit the ground running okay it could be just because that's the expression you know hit the ground one but it's like they're gonna hit the 
the floor, the ground, whatever, hard. Okay, there's another energy here. Okay, like I said, it could be you, it could be something legal, it could possibly be something spiritual, whatever it is. Okay, it's going to knock them off their feet. Okay, when and if they try, or I'm here, continue to try. Okay, it's like the storm that they want to try to create in your life, okay, of things falling apart for you, burning down for you so they can sit in it. It's not going to happen, okay, but it very may well happen to them, okay. Oh, Lord, I just heard the worst is yet to come. So if this has been happening and something has happened to somebody, some karma has hit somebody from what they have done to you or what they will try to do to you, take your life, your money, your abundance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, the worst is yet to come for them. There's more that is going to hit this person and, and hard, okay? The high priestess in reverse. Three of swords in reverse. The lovers in reverse. Okay. And Queen of Cups in reverse. All right. This person, well, I kind of just basically want to say they didn't listen to their intuition. They didn't listen, you know, to themselves, maybe, maybe like their higher self. Okay. Telling them, you know, hey, don't do this. Don't make this happen. Okay. Don't, don't, don't take yourself down this road. <clears throat> but they, I, I'm hearing they thought they were so smart and brilliant. Okay. And it's just the thinking that they were. Okay, it's kind of like that saying when a person realizes that the more they know, the more they don't know. Okay, that's like what, you know, a wise person. The more you know, no, the more you learn, the more you read, the more you study, etc. Et you realize, shit, I, don't, I really don't know that much at all. Okay, that's not so with this person. Okay, they think that they are so smart and so clever. Okay, that they have the ability to come in, all right, and knock you off your feet. Okay, but the exact opposite is going to happen. They really, they really thought that they were going to do something here that was going to break your heart and cause you so a lot of sorrow. Okay, I don't know. Um, like I said, they want to take your life, so I don't know. Maybe too, if you were in a relationship and they tried to, you know, get in between that. Okay, to uh, take your person from you. Okay, to, to cause you to be without love, okay, to cause you to become hard hearted, okay, from all the sorrow that they thought that they were going to cause in your life, okay, but they don't know, it's like you're resilient, they really was trying to bring a storm in, like I'm telling you, okay, just a big whirlwind of everything falling apart for you, okay, but it did not happen, and it's not going to. Okay, we have the Prince of Cups, upright. Okay, the Hermit card, upright. Okay, and the Devil, look at that, upright. Okay. It's like I'm hearing the laughter is on them, so it's like the joke is on them. Okay, even if, if this Devil energy, okay, maybe they were in some kind of, well, maybe not, maybe, you know, they were in this devil energy, okay, but I'm hearing loss, it's like the joke was on them, okay, all along, okay, for you to even, not you, Pisces, it's like, but this is what I'm hearing, for you to even move in this direction, okay, to hurt and bring harm to another, another being, this is what I'm hearing, Pisces, okay, to just call, to cause destruction in your life, all right. This is what they thought they were going to do. This is what they felt that they were empowered to do. Ambition. It was like they this they were ambitious, okay? Uh, you know, in doing this, okay, about this, okay, or concerning this. All right. They were, I feel like they might have been like seduced, okay, into this, to causing this. Yeah, honey. It's like a joke was played on them. Okay. Who, what, I don't know. Okay, maybe some demon played the joke or the devil played the joke, Satan played the joke, whatever. They were wooed, they were seduced into doing this to you, to trying to bring you harm. It was like a call. Okay, they were called forth here. All right, lied to, lied upon, but there had to be something that they thought, you know, obviously that, you know, they thought they was going to get this in return if they did this, if they made this move. All right. I'm hearing like the lie was upon them. It's like they were lied to. You know, I keep hearing joked upon. Okay. A cruel and a cruel joke was played on this person. All right. All right. I'm hearing about something higher. Now you can look at it at that any way you want to. I, I just feel like maybe some kind of maybe a, a higher uh a person of a 
a higher status position okay um or maybe like um um a spiritual is what i'm trying to say okay but i'm also hearing of divine origin i don't know it okay like you know um like I, I did a reading on the book of job you read the first chapter okay you know job okay and him and job and god had a conversation you know satan and job had a not job satan and and, and god had a conversation what you got what you doing here i'm doing a b and c and d have you considered my servant job okay even though the job situation was different than this i'm just saying i don't it's almost like that they were wooed and called upon, you know, I'm hearing like directed by a higher, I, I'm hearing a higher nature, a higher force, something higher, okay, than them, okay, than you, you know, even, um, called them forth, okay, to do this thing to you, okay, to play this game on you, okay, to see what they could do. I'm hearing fixed, I don't know, a fixed sign. I don't know what the fixed signs are and blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can look that up yourself. I don't have that here in my notes in front of me. Okay, like the fixed signs and the mutable signs and all of that. Okay, um, maybe I'll look it up real quick. Hold on. Fixed signs. Okay, um, I'm looking to see which ones they are. Okay, so I have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Maybe possibly this person might have been one of those signs. A Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius, okay? Who thought they were going to, you know, bring you to your demise, all right? But they were used, I'm hearing, okay? Used by this higher force. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know why, though. Okay, let's keep on going here. Six of Pentacles. It might come out. I don't know. Okay, uh, the Chariot card upright. All right, and here we have the Prince of Swords upright. And this uh, Six of Pentacles was upright when I pulled it down. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Hmm. I feel like this person, whoever, oh Lord have mercy, this person who was called to do this, wooed to do this, seduced. Okay, um, it's like they they definitely were given something, okay, or they thought they were going to be given this, your life, your you, but it's almost like these energies, something here, looked at them as less than, okay, um, like a pauper even, okay, um, but I feel too, this was a trickster energy, okay, that did, that, that did this to them, okay? Now, I'm looking at this uh, Prince of Swords here, okay? Prince of Swords here in the book is, um, oh shit, my book. Let me find my little book that come with the book, with the deck, hold on. All right, now here's the uh, book right here, okay? Let me see. Prince of Swords. Okay, the Prince of Swords is Loki, the god of, de of deceit. <laughs> okay. okay, that's who's riding. This is the last card that came. That's who's riding this higher. Okay, you see the, him riding this uh, uh, bird here. Okay, higher, not necessarily higher. Uh, in terms of lighter or, or you know more moral or you know uh, godlike or whatever okay it is um in terms of being in the sky you see it in the sky it's higher okay like physically higher okay this is what this energy here this person who set out to do this to you i mean and let me tell you something they were deceived here by this like Loki energy, okay. What it say again? The god of deceit, okay. We know that if not more you from watching the Marvel movies, okay. Um, Thor and whatnot, okay. The Thor, all the Marvel movies, okay. And let me tell you something. Whatever this Loki energy, this it's like this devil energy. Uh, this devil here. Okay, maybe Satan himself, shit, I don't know. Okay, called forth. Okay, 
this Loki energy to deceive this person. And this person, it's kind of sad because they just charged with it. They just went for it, okay, without using any kind, like I said, that this high priestess energy in reverse, did not use their intuition, did not listen to their intuition, did not use any discernment. Okay, they just went forth, charged forth. It's like, because I feel that this energy here, okay, this deceitful energy, okay, looked at this person that was set out to do this to you, looked at them like they were a pauper, like they were less than, they didn't even regard them, okay, as worth anything, okay, worthless, okay, I can do this to you, to uh, use you, okay, to set up, you know, to set out to, destroy this person, but really the joke's on you, not them, not the person they set out to destroy, but the person that they use to set out to destroy this individual, okay, or you Pisces, okay, it's like they lied, okay, obviously a deceitful energy, they lied, okay, to them Pisces, okay, And I'm here like, it's like they must have had a, they had, had an opportunity, okay? Because they didn't use the discernment. They just charged for, yeah, hell yeah, I'll do it, okay? I'm going to get that. I'm going to get their life, you know? I'm going to get their person. I'm going to get their abundance. I'm going to get everything that they are, everything that they're about, okay? But like I said, there's more to come, okay? But this energy, okay? Or this person, rather, okay? Energy, you know? set out to do this to you Pisces it, they were used but it's kind of like you were used too you know what I'm saying Pisces they were used to do this to you but it's like they that you were used to set this person up now you might not know nothing about this okay or, or don't even look at it this way or whatever it's like is it, oh, was it that deep and you understand what I'm saying all right but I'm just here you know, just march forth continue on Pisces living okay your life okay i'm pulling from the uh card from the isis oracle deck here look we have lady of the stars and who is it priestess of sirius okay i have never ever pulled this card before okay um i haven't used this deck in a long time this oracle deck but i used to use it a lot wait a minute hold on okay of course i'm not gonna read the whole thing Lady of the Stars, Priestess of Sirius. Sirius is a celestial goddess, a star of unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration. It brings deep soul awakening, spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. Lady of the Stars is also an empowerment of all other oracles in this deck. She tells you to pay attention because something significant is taking place right now. I don't know what's significant taking place for you, Pisces, right now. Maybe this is it, okay, coming to to uh, the realization of this happening that occurred in your life, all right? All right, but I certainly hope that resonated with some Pisces. I ask that you all like, share, and subscribe to those who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you, if you have not. But you watch my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, thumbs up, comment, come over, see what's happening here at Let's Get Into It. You all be blessed. Peace.